G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make this great slouch hat. I've used Christmas colours so it could be used as a Christmas hat as well. It has a drawstring at the bottom of it so it is very easy to make and a great project for beginners. We will be using my wonderful friend Kat's pattern from Kat's Rock and Crochet. I will put a link below in the description box so you can go and check out the pattern. The pattern is very easy like I said and is great for beginners. You will need to know how to make a granny square but I will put a link in the description box below the video on how to make a granny square as well. So I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get started on the lesson. In today's project we'll be using Red Heart yarn. I'm using the Red Heart Shimmer in the colour red. I'm also using a white which is just an Australian 8 ply but that is also equivalent to the same thickness as the Red Heart Shimmer. For our supplies we're going to need a yarn needle with a large eye, a pair of scissors, these scissors are now available on my website so I will put a link below so you can check them out. We're going to need a crochet hook to go with our yarn. I'm using sports weight, 8 ply or double knit yarn. So that's using a 4mm or a size G. This one is the Red Heart Shimmer. As you can see it's got like glitter through it. It's really cute. And this is just regular 8 ply yarn from Spotlight. And they're both the same thickness which is really good. So the Sports Weight and the Shimmer, which is the red one, is the same thickness as the Aussie 8 ply. So I'm able to put those together which is awesome. I would have preferred this one to be the Shimmer too but I didn't have any in the white, only in the red. So putting those aside for a sec. What we need to do is make granny squares. I have made three round granny squares and I've joined them all together. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And the measurement of my granny square is three inch across, which is about about eight centimeters. So make your granny squares. This will fit approximately a 58 centimeter head. If you want to make it larger or smaller, you're going to use more or less granny squares. This will be a case of making the granny squares, sewing them together as you go, and then wrapping it around the head to see what head size it's going to fit. To sew them together, what we do is when you finish off your granny square, and yes I have lots of ends to sew in, when you finish off your granny square you're going to leave about 15 centimeters of yarn or about, what's that about, four inches? No, five or six inches. Then we're going to grab our yarn needle and then we're going to sew our pieces together. So we're just going through both loops on both pieces. And this hat doesn't have to be made for Christmas. I'm just using this pattern because I would like to make a Christmas hat. And I thought this one would be perfect because I love granny squares. I need an excuse to use this really pretty yarn. So sew across until we get to the other end. When we get to the end we're just going to fasten off and you're going to join all your granny squares together so that they all are a continuous Ooh, yuck. ends. Yucky. I hate them. Should have done it as I went, but you know, didn't do it. <laughs> That'll teach me. 
and then sew them all together until you have a hat band. The ones on the end here, we can actually crochet over as we go, so that's why I didn't do those ones. So I'm going to sew more, sew more in at the end. So grabbing your yarn, I'm going to use the white because it will contrast against the last row of the red. We're going to join our yarn in. You can join it however you like. We're going to chain three. And we're going to work across. So into each of these stitches you want to put one double crochet. Then depending on how you did your granny square, I have no chain in between here. So I'm just going to work straight into the top of that double crochet. If you have a chain one in between, you're going to work into that space. So working in each of the double crochets. It feels so strange to use quite thin yarn. Such a tiny hook. I'm used to using worsted weight and an eye hook. Again, if you've got a chain one in between your groups of three, you're going to crochet into there. If not, go into the top of the double crochet. So this round just neatens off the edging. So we've got our corner space, so we're going to go into there. And if you can, you can work into the join. And then into the corner space, which is here. And then into the top of the double crochets. And again, if you've got a chain one in between your, you work into there. If not, you work into the top of the double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning. So I'll continue around and I'll meet up with you when we get back to the beginning. When we get back to the beginning, we're going to join with a slip stitch and then chain up three. double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch around. And we're going to repeat this round and so we have about 12 inches and that includes oh, let me just zoom out a bit there from, from here we need about 12 inches of our hat. Of course you can make it shorter or you could make it longer depending on if you want it really slouchy like a Santa hat or if it's for a child you may need a few less rounds but continue on until you have 12 inches or the measurement that you desire from the beginning of the hat because this is the brim of the hat and this will be the main section of the hat and I'll meet up to you when we have this pick completed once we have our rounds of double crochet done I've done 20 all together we're going to decrease around the top of the hat now that's 20 rounds of the 8 ply or the sports one. So first of all we want to chain 3. And we're going to decrease in every 5th stitch. Now this is a guide only. You could spread it out more and make more rounds of decrease if you like. But in cat's pattern it's every 5th stitch. So we're going to follow along with what was done. That's four stitches, and in the fifth one, we're going to work a decrease. So, yarning over, going into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, keep the two loops on your hook, 
yarn over go into the next stitch, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, and then pull through all three. So work four more double crochets. And then work it decrease, so it's going into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, leave those two loops on your hook, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through all three. So we're going to repeat that around, decreasing in every fifth stitch. Working a decrease. Continue around until we get back to the beginning. I've joined with a slip stitch. We're going to chain up three and we're going to decrease in every fifth, uh, fourth stitch. Sorry. So it's chain three, two double crochets into the next stitch. We're going to work decrease. Into the next three stitches, we're going to work one double crochet. Into the next stitch, we're going to work decrease. Then we're going to work three double crochet. and then a decrease. We're going to repeat this around, working a decrease in every fourth stitch. When you get to the end of the round, if your decrease isn't in the right spot, that's fine. This isn't a perfect um, combination of stitches. This is just the guide and this will decrease. And this is all being gathered at the end anyway, so you won't even notice if you are a couple of stitches out. So now we want to work two double crochets between our decreases. So do your chain three, double crochet, and then work your decrease stitch. Into the next two stitches, work one double crochet, and then decrease into the next one. So repeat that around, working a decrease. So we've got decrease one, one, and then a decrease. Continue around till we get back to the beginning. So in, in Cat's Pattern, it doesn't say to work another decrease round, but if you would like to, and I'm actually going to, we can work another round of decrease. So we had two stitches in between our decrease. Now we want one, so that's one there. And then decrease into the next one. Work a double crochet and decrease into the next one. So you're decreasing in every second stitch. Continue around and I'll meet up to you when we get back to the beginning. When we get to the end, we're going to finish off. So I've still got a hole there. We'll be making a tie to close up that gap. First of all, we're going to work onto the brim of the hat. Now this is completely up to you how many rounds that you work. You could work just one round, or you could work, like I said, as many as you want. So we're going to join your yarn in. Now we can use any stitch we like for this. If you're going to use single crochet, I would recommend using a bigger hook because a single crochet is a different stitch. It is uh, tighter than a double crochet. You could use a half double crochet or double crochet. So 
I've chained three and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to crochet into there and into each stitch around and this is like what we did when we did the other end we did over here we did our main section of our hat we're going to do exactly the same so we're just going to double crochet around and remember if you did a chain one in between your groups of three you're going to work a stitch into there as well I didn't do a chain one so I don't need to so we're going to continue around like we did when we added the first round of white over here and I'll meet you back here so when we get to the end of each round we're going to slip stitch to join chain up three and double crochet in each stitch around and you're going to continue on I think I'm going to work three rounds of this I thought it looks like after two but I think I might do three altogether so I'll catch up to you when we're ready to do the rest of the hat. So I've decided to do two rows and just to put a bit of colour on the edge of this I'm going to add a round of slip stitch. This isn't in the pattern but I thought I would add it just to break up the white. So going into the stitch working a slip stitch and don't work it very tight. If you work it tight it will make the hat smaller around the brim course if that's what you need then that would be a good idea to make it smaller so I'm just going to continue around until I get back to the beginning when we get back to the beginning go under the slip stitch sorry go under the slip stitch and then pull through. So what you would normally do in a stitch. Work your slip stitch. Pull that out. And then we're going to sew in our end. And just place that between the slip stitch on the next one and that will make that look like a slip stitch I'm actually going to tie it at the back And then we're going to sew in our ends. And we're going to do that for both ends. Now you want to make a chain so that we can spread it through the ends of the hat. I'm going to start where my seam is. And I'm just going to thread it in and out. I'm going to skip two stitches and come up next to it. Skip two stitches. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around. We're going to pull tight when we finished it. And my chain is actually still attached to my yarn because I didn't know how long I wanted my chain. off now I'm going to cut those off at the same length so I hope you enjoyed that video a huge thank you to Kat from Cat's Rock and Crochet from the really cute pattern Please subscribe as we have plenty more videos to come. Share your creation on our Facebook page. 
as we would love to see the combinations that you come up with with your colours. Check out more of Kat's wonderful patterns on her website. I will put the link in the description box below the video. Again, thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet.